What's up, Mike? This is Guys. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the best and fastest DNS servers for your PS5. And we're going to show you how to change those DNS server settings within your PS5. Amazingly, there can be 10,000 or more DNS lookups taking place on your network every day. And each DNS lookup creates a delay. Delay, also known as latency, is the enemy of the online gamer. And home networks can ruin gameplay by increasing average delay or latency and introducing latency spikes. And minimizing latency can give you a competitive gaming edge. There are three major causes for latency for PS5 owners. First is improper DNS server settings, which we're gonna fix in this video. Second is using Wi-Fi for your PS5 instead of a direct LAN connection. And third is buffer bloat. Buffer bloat is the cause of high latency and jitter in packet switch networks caused by excessive buffering of packets. And buffer bloat is caused by the excessive use of streaming services like Netflix, Amazon Prime, or Hulu. Buffer bloat can wreak havoc with online gaming by creating latency spikes of 200 milliseconds or more. However, it is possible to fix buffer bloat easily by using a router that incorporates smart queue management. And to fix the improper use of Wi-Fi setups, we recommend using ethernet. So use ethernet to connect your PS5 to your router and not Wi-Fi. Typically, Wi-Fi can add three to seven milliseconds of latency. And compared to ethernet, it's less than one millisecond. So if you want the lowest latency, the ethernet cable is the obvious choice. And even worse for gamers, Wi-Fi often causes sporadic latency spikes, which can reach 50 milliseconds or more. Even those expensive so-called gaming routers are not immune to these latency spikes. Now let's go ahead and set up the best and fastest DNS for your PS5. First things first, we have to find the best and fastest DNS servers for your location. But how do we do this? There are three approaches to find the best DNS servers to use. The simplest approach is to pick two DNS servers from our list of public DNS servers right here. DNS providers like Google or Cloudflare are fast and reliable and often outperform the DNS servers of broadband providers. However, Google is well known for selling your data so keep that in mind. And in my opinion, Cloudflare is a great alternative. The second approach to find the best DNS server is to measure the ping to a range of public DNS servers and pick two with the lowest pings. And this will indicate which server is closest to your location. So use one of those online ping websites and type in the DNS server and check out the round trip time, which is RTT, which is measured in milliseconds. And once again, choose the server with the lowest ping average. And the third and last approach to find the best DNS server is using the software called DNS Benchmark. DNS Benchmark comprehensively measures and tests a broad range of public DNS servers to identify the best server for your location. And DNS Benchmark tests up to 200 DNS servers. Unfortunately, DNS Benchmark does not work with Mac OS. Oh. So if you use Mac OS, just use the first two approaches to find the best DNS server. So once you find the best and fastest DNS server for your location, go ahead and turn on your PS5. From the PS5 home screen, go to settings, then select network. Next, select setup internet connection. Next, go to setup wired LAN and hit connect. And now on the PS5 controller, go to the options menu, and then go to the advanced settings. From here, you have the option of setting up a static IP address for your PS5. You can skip that if you want to. You can see we have a static IP address for our PS5, and there will be a link at the end of this video showing you how to set up a static IP address for your PS5 and how to port forward your PS5. So check it out after this video. Finally, we're at the step where we can set our DNS settings. So whichever DNS server you're gonna use, make sure to set up both primary and secondary, because if some reason the primary server is down, it will default to the secondary. So we chose Cloudflare for our DNS server. And from our location in Las Vegas, it's the fastest DNS server. So we're going to type in 1.1.1.3 for primary and 1.0.0.3 for secondary. After that, skip proxy server and skip the MTU settings and then hit OK. And from here, we're going to test out our internet connection and check out our download and upload. And you can see our download speeds and upload speeds are very good. So now as promised, I'm gonna show you how to set up the wireless connection. So once again, go to the setup internet connection, and this time choose your Wi-Fi connection. Ours is Ultimate Tech Hub. Then go ahead and put your password in and connect. And then once you connect to the internet, from the PS5 controller, go to option menu and advanced settings. And from here, we're gonna skip the IP address settings. We'll go directly to DNS settings. And once again, we'll type in 1.1.1.3 as primary, and 1.0.0.3 is secondary. 
and once again skip proxy server and MTU settings and hit OK. And next we'll go ahead and test our internet connection. And you can see our speeds are much slower with the Wi-Fi connection. And this is why you should always use a wired connection. It's much, much faster. And as promised, here's the link right here in the video on how to port forward your PS5. And with that, guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.